This assessment tracker is designed to be used alongside the Phonics Hero assessment tools, which can be found in your learning library. Each child has their own tab in the tracker and you can switch between them along the bottom here. Before doing the assessment with the child, fill in their details at the top left corner of the sheet. You can then input their results either during the assessment or once it's finished. First, input the date of the assessment in the coloured row. Then record the results next to each phoneme or word by writing a Y for yes if they got it right or an N for no if they got it wrong. The total will be automatically calculated, but you now need to decide if that score is a pass or not by writing Y or N in the passed row. If you feel they have not passed it, you can retest them at a later date and overwrite the information you've got here. This time, as Liam got 4 out of 4, he has passed. This table gives you a quick snapshot of which level the child is working on for each skill and is automatically calculated based on the results you have inputted below. So as I have just written that Liam has passed level 1A, it is showing that he has moved on to and is working on level 1B for no. Please note that in order to keep this table correct, you must ensure you update the grey passed rows for each level. If you forget to write that they have passed level 1, even though they are working on level 2, for example, the formulas in the Excel will not update correctly, so be sure you haven't missed any. Once you have assessed all the children, go to the Class Progress tab. This will give you an overall summary of what levels the students in your class are working on for each skill. So for example, in No here, we can see that two of my children are currently working on level one, four on level two, nine on level three, and so on. There is also a final column on the graph here, which shows how many children have satisfactorily passed all six levels in part one, and are therefore ready for part two of Phonics Hero. And if you look in the learning library, you will see a second assessment tracker, just like this one, ready to record their part two results. If you prefer to view the results in a summary table format rather than graphs, just choose the next tab along called Class Progress Table and this will give you a list of all of your students, which group they're in and what level they are currently working on.